Kremlin says leaders in breakaway regions of Ukraine are requesting military help in possible pretext for further invasion. Russian state media reported Wednesday that rebel leaders in Donetsk and Luhansk, two breakaway regions in eastern Ukraine, have asked President Vladimir Putin to provide military assistance to defend against Ukrainian aggression and prevent a humanitarian catastrophe. The Ukrainian military warned earlier this week that Russian-backed mercenaries had been sent to the area to stage provocations as a possible pretext for invasion. The Russian state news service TASS reported that the two Moscow-backed breakaway regions Putin formally recognized as independent earlier this week had asked the Kremlin to help push the Ukrainian military out of the area. They are asking the president of Russia to provide assistance and repulse the aggression of the armed forces and formations of Ukraine, Putin's spokesman Dmitry Peskov was quoted as saying. Putin had said earlier this week he was sending troops into the territories to carry out what he called peacekeeping functions. The Ukrainian military this week warned that Russian-backed mercenaries had been sent to the area to stage provocations. The purpose of these provocations will, of course, be to accuse Ukraine of further escalation, it said. Around the time of the TASS report, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said the U.S. believes Russia is poised to launch an assault on Ukraine. What we see is that Russian forces continue to assemble closer to the border and put themselves in an advanced stage of readiness to act, Kirby said. He said an attack could come virtually any time now. We believe they're ready. A senior U.S. defense official earlier said that Russian troops range from about 3 miles to 30 miles, 5 kilometers to 50 kilometers, from the border. Russia also has more than 10 landing ships in the Black Sea with troops on board. The Biden administration had warned this week that an invasion was imminent and could include the capital, Kyiv. U.S. officials seemed more confident Wednesday that such a scenario was about to become a reality. The Ukrainian government, which had been previously cooler about the likelihood of war, declared a state of emergency starting on Thursday. Government leaders urged all of their citizens to leave Russia immediately and started calling up military reservists. Meanwhile, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuleba issued a sobering message Wednesday before the United Nations General Assembly. The beginning of a large-scale war in Ukraine will be the end of the world order, as we know it, he said. The United States, Europe and other allies appeared to have lost hope in diplomatic efforts, cancelling meetings with Russian officials and instead imposing the first salvo of sanctions on Moscow. In an expected yet dramatic move, Russia began evacuating its embassy in Kyiv, according to the Associated Press, citing the Russian state news agency TASS. By Wednesday afternoon, Russia's flag was no longer flying over the building, the report said. The departure came a day after Russia's foreign ministry announced that it would evacuate all diplomatic missions in Ukraine to protect the lives of their personnel. Late on Wednesday, Ukraine's parliament imposed a nationwide state of emergency for 30 days starting on Thursday. Ahead of the parliament's vote on the state of emergency, at least five Ukrainian websites were hit by cyber attacks, according to Mikhailo Fedorov, Minister of Digital Transformation. The websites for the Cabinet of Ministers and Ministry of Foreign Affairs were among those affected. A bomb threat had also been called into Ukraine's parliament, the National Police of Kyiv confirmed, but authorities found no explosives. The government urged all Ukrainian citizens to leave Russia immediately and has started conscripting reservists ages 18 to 60. Recent estimates have put the number of Ukrainians living in Russia at 1.9 million to 3 million. We are aware of the risks that exist from the Russian Federation. We clearly understand that our army is ready to fight back, Ukraine's top security official, Alexei Danilov, told reporters after asking lawmakers to approve the state of emergency. Ukraine's parliament also gave initial approval to a draft law that would allow citizens to carry firearms in self-defense. The moves follow an escalation in the ongoing conflict in the country's east and a highly provocative set of actions from Moscow. On Tuesday, Putin said Russia's recognition of Donetsk and Luhansk stretched to large swaths of territory held by the Ukrainian military. The move further raised concerns that a broader armed conflict could break out as Russian troops move in and came after Putin gained parliamentary approval to use his armed forces. Thanks for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you keep receiving the latest news from United States News Channel. Bye bye.